Hey everyone, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I am sharing my March 2021 bullet journal plan with me. As always, I am starting out with last month's flip through and I did this really cute gumball machine theme for February and the plan with me for February will be linked in the cards and down below if you missed it. I'm flipping back to my planning page to show you how I plan out lettering for my headers and my color scheme and all that fun stuff. My theme this month is a boho dream catcher theme and I think you're really gonna like it so let's hop right into this cover page. I got this gray brick background idea from PH Doodling here on YouTube. It was from her February theme, and I will have her channel linked down below if you want to check her out because she truly is an amazing bullet journalist. For these monthly spreads, I wanted to try something new, so instead of doodling dream catchers, I wanted to break out my brand new Cricut to cut out these mandala or doily-like cutouts as the top of the dream catcher. And honestly, I cannot imagine cutting these out myself or even drawing something like it, so I'm grateful that my Cricut truly made all my bullet journal dreams come true. I've been bullet journaling for over two years now and every time I do a March theme I feel like I have to include some green because I've been doing it for the past two years so this year will not be any different. I thought these vines would be the perfect green incorporation for this theme. And these dream catchers are actually based on ones that I used to make a couple years ago. I will include a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. I just love taking elements from my own life and incorporating it into my themes, so this was a really nice walk down memory lane for me. I wanted to include a clip of how I made these headers throughout my bullet journal, so I used my circle stencil on a paper bag and cut them out using my scissors, but looking back I definitely could have saved myself from the hand cramps by using my Cricut, but like, it's fine. I wrote out my letters with my 08 micron and then outlined them with my Uniball Signo white gel pen. And then when I was looking at it, I realized the black seemed to get a little lost when I went over it with the white gel pen. So I went over that again with the same micron and that's all I did to get these time consuming yet cute little headers. Moving on to my monthly calendar spread and I'm still going with my one page layout and I say it in every plan with me, but in case you're new here, I don't use this page for anything other than holidays, birthdays, or any events that are going on. I make my weeklies pretty far in advance so there's no need for me to write down a ton of information twice so the one page setup really works well for me personally.
So as you just saw, I made these black lines with my Tombow Furunosuke so I could write over it with my white gel pen. It's one of my favorite things to do in bullet journaling. And then I broke out my paper bag again to make a mini task list and my social media growth trackers for Instagram and YouTube. And that about does it for this page. Moving on to my habit tracker, I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing as last month and setting it up the same way for my 8 habits that will be tracked. And I don't write the titles in this video just in case I want to switch things up for what I track in March, but in all honesty, it will probably still be waking up at 8am, making my bed, working out, being productive, washing my hair, flossing, reading, and no snacking. I think my mood tracker is my favorite spread of the month and I doodled in the leaves for me to color in one a day based on my mood and I can't wait for it all to be filled in, it's going to look so cute. The key at the top, which you will see a little bit later, I only draw in faces but from top to bottom the colors mean happy, fine or content, tired or bored, and sad or frustrated. I'm setting up my anxiety tracker now and I've gotten a couple questions about this spread in the past so I'm going to try to explain it the best that I can. Basically I rate my anxiety on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being the lowest and 5 being the highest and I generally just do a line graph for that and I track it every single day but if you want to create your own you can do a bar graph or set it up like even a mood tracker where you use a different color based on how high or how low your stress levels are. And if you want me to do a more in-depth anxiety tracking process video, please leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to make that happen. Now moving on to my gratitude log, I kept it pretty simple with space to leave one or two things I'm grateful for every single day, but honestly I'm kind of getting bored with this setup because I also write two lines every single day, so I'm looking into more fun ways to update my gratitude log, but for now it's functional and it still achieves its purpose. So there was a big space at the top of these spreads and I wanted to add something so I put in another dream catcher cutout and I'm not sure if I tolerate it or strongly dislike it but it's already glued in so I'm leaving it. I do think it adds um, kind of a cooler element and it's something I've never done before but yeah we're just going to leave it for now and move on to the next spread.
Here's the two lines a day spread I mentioned, and I love being able to talk about how my day went in just a couple lines for memory keeping purposes. I used to keep a journal, but I always felt like I needed to fill the whole thing up, and I felt like I needed to write page long things and it was just not working out for me so the two lines a day are perfect for me and it's also a space where I can still rant about something or enthuse about something or really anything I want to talk about. Okay, so here's where the lighting starts getting really weird. I think my phone camera saw all the green and tried to balance out the color with purple or something, so it's super shadowy and weird, but it only happens on this page, which is very strange. I tried to fix the lighting the best I could after the fact, but I just felt like I wanted to let you know just in case you're wondering why your screen all of a sudden turns purple, and that's why. My content planner and expenses log are also pretty much the same layout as last month, so the content planner is a place for me to write down my Instagram post plans and YouTube video plans. I think I eventually want to switch this layout up too because my Instagram I post pretty much every single day, but my YouTube videos I only really post once a week on Saturdays, so I don't need all that space to plan YouTube videos. And then my expenses log is super simple since 2019 it's been the exact same layout. I have my date, whether the transaction is incoming or outgoing, the amount, the cash or a card, I can write down if it's cash, debit, credit, really anything, and then a description of what it is. I'm leaving a few pages in between this spread and my monthly review for my weeklies, which I make with my mom and my sister because we bullet journal together, so I like to leave some pages out of my filming process to complete with them. Now getting into my last spread of the video, which is my monthly review, and this is a place for me to write down my favorite memories of the month, put a Polaroid, think about the future like what I'm excited for and what I'm nervous about, and lastly just write down some of my favorites of the month in categories like movies, TV, music, food, YouTube, stationery, and what have you. I honestly love filling out the spread at the end of each month, it makes me so excited to look back on how my month was and get myself really excited for the coming month.
We are getting into the final flip through and I want to encourage you all to comment down below what your favorite spread was from this plan with me and also what your March bullet journal theme is this year. We are nearing the end of this plan with me and I wanted to say I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Also don't forget to check out my bullet journal Instagram at Creative Minds Coffee Grinds for more bullet journal content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!